All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me for another What's Cooking with your girl, Chef Keisha B. All right, you see the ingredients. You read the title. Today, we're going to be making roasted chicken nachos. Simple, quick, not a lot of ingredients. All right? So you're going to need your tortillas, any tortillas of your choice, your beans, refried beans, green onions, a little lemon juice or lime juice just for a little flavor. These are my favorite green sauces here. These two, for me, that's it. That's all I need. And some ketchup. Huh? All right. Not to mention, you're going to need your rotisserie chicken or your fresh roasted chicken, whatever you want to call it. Uh, mine is not in the bag because I actually put it in the stove for another 30 minutes just in case. Okay. So let's get this party started. Also, we are going to use a bag of cheese. So any cheese of your choice, I prefer uh, to have me some uh, sharp cheddar. It's my favorite. I'm not going to have melted cheese on this because I want to be able to enjoy the flavors of my cheese. So I'd rather have my cheese the way it is and not melted. But if you want yours melted, I say after your nachos are done, um, you can easily just put them in a microwave, put like a top or something over them, your microwave bowl or something like that to melt your cheese for a bit. But I'll pass. I don't like mine like that. All right, so all we're going to do right now is chop up our green onions. There you have it. Okay, all chopped and ready to go. Let's keep this thing going. Okay, so now we're going to open up our beans. Okay. Okay, so you will need your pot, or if you're gonna do it in the microwave, that's fine. Just make sure you use a microwave safe bowl because all we're gonna do is just break them down, okay? Look how easy that was. So, and then I also have one third of just regular water, okay? So in the meantime, let's get this guy set. Moving too fast, break it down. <laughs> get this guy going. Doesn't have to be stirred up yet until um, trying to get it warm. But it's so easy to do. But I'm gonna uh, put this on a low, okay? Let's put that on a low. All right. So there you have it. You have your beans out of the way. Put that on a low, okay? With the one third water. If we need more water, we'll add later. Okay, so now that our beans is on a low, let's go ahead and let's chop of our tortillas, okay? So. All right. By the way, not promoting, but Quizart, I love their, uh, their cutlery. You know, I have a lot of different people that I like to buy certain things from, so. I have a little bit of everybody. All right, so there you have it. Those are our tortillas nice and cut. So what we'll be doing now is now we're gonna break down our chicken. And later make sure you get a skillet and you're gonna need some oil to fry your tortillas. All right. All right, so here was the, uh, the roasted chicken. I put it in for a little longer, so a little bit crispier. So what we're getting ready to do, it's just kind of hot, you take this off. We're going to just go here like this, like so. And guys, don't forget I have dogs, so they love to smell this chicken meat. So they can smell it and it drives them nuts. Okay, and this dish is really for the bachelor. The bachelor are like, you know, chef, make us something. Something we can make. Okay? So what I'm doing right here is, it's kind of hot, guys. I'm trying to get the breast off because that's the only pieces I'm going to be dealing with right now. Okay. Whew. So I just put it out the oven. Remember I told you I put it back in for 30 minutes just because I heard the lady say that she felt like they wasn't done when she checked the temperature all the way. So I wasn't taking any chances with that. So anywho. Oh, Lord have mercy. Sorry, it is super hot. And I'm trying to be a badass and show y'all this. Okay. 
Ooh. Um, you can put the skin in if you like. I don't really care for a lot of it. Too much fat on it. But just try to get that breast in. See there, that's what we want. All right. Okay. So we got our breast meat. All right. So we're gonna chop it up now. Okay. So let's get this meat chopped up, making sure there's no bones. Okay. This is for the bachelors. We can make you something quick and easy. Quick, easy nachos, you know? You don't have to worry about baking the chicken on your own. It's healthy because it's baked and not fried. Okay, just get it chopped up. Sorry. Chop it up. That's all I'm doing. Chop it up. Don't have to be really, see there? There's a bone. So make sure while you're chopping, you're paying attention, right? You don't want to get that to nobody. And when you have meat left over, all you have to do is put it in a, like a Tupperware container and then just make sure you seal it up. Or if you don't have Tupperware, then you can put it in a sandwich bag and have some for tomorrow or the next day. Okay? So everything is chopped up. Just want to move it around just to break it down just a little bit more by moving it all right and there you have it that's our meat that we're going to be using for our nachos okay okay so now let's check on our beans so the beans is already here uh, since mine seems like it's sticking to the bottom i'm going to go ahead and turn the fire off but i wanted them loose you want them loose enough so you can pour them on because when you if you didn't add the water, they'd be thick and you can't really, you know, spread it over the nachos. So the water didn't do anything. You can always doctor this up if you want any seasoning, but I'm fine because I'm going to use the green sauce to add my flavors. And then just the ingredients from the cheese and the onions and, you know, all those different flavors for me to do just fine. So there you have it. Okay. So the refried beans is just right, not too thin. So that one third cup of water was good enough for that can, okay? So get that stirred up and put the top on it and set it to the side. All right. So now I have a set up here for my tortillas to drain on. So once you have your oil in your pan and it's hot, reduce the heat. So turn it high to get the heat going and then reduce your heat just to stabilize it, okay? So let's go ahead and put our tortillas in. You can put quite a few. Oh. So I'll show you what I did. Uh, not say. Okay. Okay, so I have my tortillas in the pan. You'll wait for them to get crispy, flip them over, pull them out. This doesn't take long. So I still consider this an easy recipe. All right? So continue to fry your tortillas. Okay, so right now you don't see me very well, but I'm just turning them over right now. So sorry, my dogs are going crazy because they want some chicken. And my daughter is playing with them. <laughs> so yeah, okay, right while I'm making a video, okay? And that's what I told you, raw and uncut, that's how it is here. Easier to make a video when it's raw and uncut. You don't have to worry about a lot of stuff. Get them out faster. Okay, so now that the uh, tortillas are cooking on that side, give them a minute, okay? And just continue this process until you're out of tortillas. All right. Okay, yeah, so I'm getting ready to bring out my first batch of nachos. I had to adjust my heat because I'm standing here, but I put mine on a medium high. If you really don't deal with, you know, cooking with oil or all that, you can keep it on low, but it takes longer. So, and then the tortillas will suck up too much oil. So anywho, this is my first batch coming out. I Again, I like missions because it's real crunchy. I'm gonna get a great crunch out of it and you'll hear when I get ready to eat them. <laughs> so you just bring them out. Just a little bit brown, okay? You can still hear them frying. 
okay? And so I'm gonna continue to cook my nachos, all right? Okay, there you have it. Listen. You can still hear them frying. That's crazy. So anyway, it's very important for you to have like a brown, golden brown chip, because look, it's crunchy and that's what you want. You want that, you want that crunch. So make sure you get your chips golden brown so you can have that crunch, okay? Let's go ahead and plate this thing up, all right? Okay, so you're gonna watch me plate it up, okay? That looks delicious. You hear how crunchy that sounds? Sounds wonderful. Okay? You don't want them too piled up. You want to kind of loosen them up a little bit. That way you can get all your stuff on them. Okay? There we go. So next, let's put our beans on. Just think, you can you have extra in case you want some more. You know, sometimes you don't have no extra. But since you're making your own, you have extras. Okay? Just put the chicken on. Look at that. It looks wonderful. Got some of those pieces of skin on there, the roasted skin. Alright. Look at that. Okay. Now we're gonna put on our sharp cheddar. Put that on. Don't want to heat it up. I don't know. Some people like to heat it up, but that's up to you. I'd rather not because I want to taste the uh, the cheese. I want to taste all the flavors come together. Okay. Last but not least, our green onions. We're kind of smoking. We like ketchup, so that's why I have ketchup out. Okay, put my green onion there. And for the sauce. Okay, so now we're just gonna squirt a little lemon juice on them. Okay, a little on the avocado. Take it, square some green sauce on there. My favorite. Y'all didn't see that. See how wet this is? I like that about that. Because it helps give it a little moisture. All right, guys. So, guess what? There you have it. That's what's cooking with your girl, Chef Keisha B. Let me move that. <laughs> Always, and let me move that. Okay, there we go. Let me get you a close up. All right, so that's your chicken, roasted chicken nachos. She is not playing. Okay, you got your pile of avocados. Okay, let me give it a spin. Again, now that's what's cooking with your girl, Chef Keisha B. Roasted chicken nachos, made easy and quick. All right. Oh, so you want me to taste it? Well, today my daughter's gonna taste it. All right. So we're watching her taste it and stuff. You won't get to see her, but you'll get to hear her. That's how you do it, y'all. Pile it up, put it on. Ooh. She doing some extra stuff, but okay. I think she's, yeah, she tripping. Ooh, you hear that crunch? We need to hear it. We don't want you to, <laughs> we want to hear the crunch.
All right. What's your reply? Well, what do you got to say about it? How it taste? Uh, obviously, it's good because we can't hear it. Look. Fire. She mm-hmm. eating one with just tons of chicken on it. Mm. She can't stop. But look at that. Look how good that looks, how loaded that is. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining your girl, Chef Keisha B, for another What's Cooking With Me. See you on the next one.